Hey Cowboys Nation, let's go for another round of news from America's team. Watch until the end so you don't miss any news and sign up to stay tuned for everything that comes out about the Cowboys. Cowboys give struggling WR permission to seek trade, report. The Dallas Cowboys' plan for the receiver group is slowly coming into shape after a recent report detailed their intention to trade a veteran WR. It isn't a surprise to see that Michael Gallup isn't in the team's plans for 2024, but a potential trade makes the departure all the more interesting. On March 9, Dallas Morning News reporter Calvin Watkins reported that the team has given Gallup permission to seek a trade. Cowboys have given W.R. Michael Gallup permission to seek a trade a source said, Watkins wrote on X. Situation is tough because teams expect Gallup to be released. At DMN underscore Cowboys, just because the Cowboys want to trade him doesn't mean he will be. Gallup has struggled to find the form that initially earned him his second contract in Dallas. Considering he is due a sizable salary in 2024, teams may rather take their chances elsewhere. However, if the Cowboys can make a trade happen, that will be a big offseason win. Letting players walk for nothing is never ideal, so getting whatever value possible is a must. Michael Gallup contract makes trade difficult. After joining the Cowboys as a third-round pick in the 2017 NFL draft, Gallup quickly became an important weapon. He peaked in his second season, totaling 11.07 receiving yards and six touchdowns. After following up with another solid, 843-yard season in 2019, Dallas handed him a five-year, $57.5 million contract. In the three seasons since, Gallup has failed to cross the 500-yard mark in a season. The Cowboys tried to be patient, but 2023 being another bit part campaign for Gallup means it's time to move on. For one, he is set to earn a $8.5 million salary in 2024 according to Spitrack. His salary only increases in 2025 and 2026, jumping to $10.5 million. For a player that can't seem to crack 500 yards in a season, that's not good value. The rising salary cap and costs of contracts means this deal isn't aging quite as poorly as it was a year ago, but it's still not a contract most teams would want to take on. Really, the Cowboys' best hope for a trade to happen is that interested teams want his services bad enough to avoid a free agency bidding war. Could Cowboys trade another WR2? The report on Gallup has given insight into the Cowboys' plans, but they may be looking at another WR trade. All offseason, speculation around Brandon Cooks being dealt elsewhere has been a constant. One of the latest trade ideas came from Bleacher Report's Christopher Knox. Knox suggested a deal where the Cowboys send Cooks to the Baltimore Ravens in exchange for fourth-round and seventh-round picks in the 2024 NFL Draft. Cooks had a significantly more productive season than Gallup in 2024, catching 54 passes for 657 yards and eight touchdowns. However, he is set to make $8 million in salary and also has a $3 million roster bonus for 2024. That's slightly pricey, but Cooks offers experience that the Cowboys don't have in the group. The veteran has won a Super Bowl and played with some of the best modern QBs ever, Drew Brees, Tom Brady, Matt Stafford, in his nine-year career. The Hammer. Here's why Cowboys need to sign Henry. This isn't Stephen A. Smith yakking about the Dallas Cowboys while pretending to hate them. And this isn't fake Skip Bayless fraudulently claiming to be a fan of the team while also pontificating about them incessantly. This instead is a former NFL player, and a front office and scouting executive veteran, who spent 14 seasons in the NFC East. Instead of over-volume media hype clamoring for ratings, this is Lewis Riddick calmly calling for a hammer. And we say he's right. The Cowboys need a hammer. Riddick said last week on ESPN's Get Up. I love Saquon Barkley, but that's not what puts Dallas over the hump. They need an attitude back. Don't teams play Dallas with an attitude? Dallas needs to play their opponents that way, too. Despite Henry living in DFW and owning a house here, there doesn't appear to be much fire to this smoke from the Cowboys' end. But there should be. For financial reasons, the Cowboys decided Ezekiel Elliott was done. They were wrong, as, at only 28 he produced a decent season behind a horrendous line and on an inept defense with the New England Patriots. About to be a free agent next week, maybe he returns as the Hammer 2.0? 
We know Tony Pollard wasn't the hammer. Chosen to be a young, cheaper Zeke, Pollard disappointed in his solo spotlight. He had won just 100-yard game and the Cowboys rushed for almost 20 yards less per game in 2023 with him than in 2022 with Elliott. So Pollard and his $10 million, one-year salary are entering into free agency. Yes, CowboysSI.com is reporting that Dallas might like to retain him. But for now, that leaves on the running back depth chart guys like Rico Dowdle, Malik Davis, Deuce Vaughn, Hunter Lupke and Snoop Connor. In other words, a tool belt painfully void of a hammer. As Riddick pointed out in a tweet on Saturday, Henry lead the league with 2.21 yards after first contact last season. He ran for 1,167 yards behind a porous Tennessee Titans offensive line, including 153 on only 19 carries in his season finale. Sure enough, he's a 30-year-old hammer. A two-time rushing champion that the Cowboys can saddle up and ride to run out those four-minute, slam-the-door drives at the end of games. He's a weapon defenses would have to respect, if not fear. He would immediately alleviate pressure from Dak Prescott to conjure all the winning plays for the Cowboys' pass-happy offense. For years, Riddick made draft decisions for Washington and the Eagles. Now, if we may say, he's hitting the Cowboys' nail right on the head. Cowboys CB Stephon Gilmore, potential dream signing for Commanders? It'll likely take more than one offseason for the Washington Commanders to fix the roster and replenish it with top young talent, but that doesn't mean general manager Adam Peters and head coach Dan Quinn can't lay the foundation through free agency in the draft this year. One player who could be on the Commanders' radar is Dallas Cowboys cornerback Stephon Gilmore. The veteran cornerback is set to hit free agency this offseason, and Bleacher Report listed him as a potential dream signing for the Commanders. Washington has to add cornerback help, especially with Kendall Fuller slated to hit the market, Bleacher Report writes. Adding Stephon Gilmore from the rival Cowboys would make a ton of sense, both because he's a quality starter and because he's an experienced leader who could help in the locker room. This Commanders team isn't accustomed to success, and Gilmore, a former Defensive Player of the Year and one-time Super Bowl champ can help show Washington how to win. Gilmore was the 2019 Defensive Player of the Year, and he's also a two-time All-Pro and five-time Pro Bowler. In 2023, he had two interceptions for the third straight season, plus 13 passes defended for the Cowboys, his most since 2019. Of his 12-year career, Gilmore has had multiple interceptions in 10 of them, Outside of defensive tackle, the commanders need all the help they can find on defense. Washington was dead last in points and yards allowed per game and was 27th in rushing yards allowed per game. Gilmore can be a more than serviceable option in the back end of the commander's defense, not just with his play but leadership as well. Gilmore could be the perfect mentor to second-year cornerback Emmanuel Forbes and help the 2023 first-round pick bounce back from a rough rookie campaign.